Hi everybody, my name is TV Trespass and I am a targeted individual. Um, I've been chosen by some dubious honor to be used in experimentation, non-consensual human experimentation into mind control, uh, Morgellons nanotechnology, remote neural monitoring, MK ultra like mind control. Um, now I'm laying in bed here, it's like 7 or 8 in the morning, and I do this a lot, I find myself like laying here talking to myself about, well not to myself, actually I'm having a conversation with my minders, I'm having a conversation with the computer that's attached to my brain, and with the, with the people in the control room that observe and control the computer, the artificial intelligence, quantum computing, um, and I'm thinking about this, you know, it's a very insidious device, technology, because human beings are used to getting information from their senses, from their touch, their taste, their smell, their hearing, their sight, and their mind. And the mind, it has an inner dialogue, it's called sub-vocalized thought. A thought that you don't actually say with your mouth, but you think to yourself in a dialogue. This constant thinking to yourself. Uh, some people think out loud, they talk to themselves, other people think in their heads. And almost everybody does it, the people who don't are in transcendental meditative state. Um, this thought, and we're used to hearing this voice inside of our heads. It's our inner dialogue. We've grown up with it since we were children. We're used to hearing this inner dialogue. And the insidious part about this technology is that it replaces or it adds to your inner dialogue with an external dialogue. A dialogue that is not self-initiated nor is it self-directed. It comes from an external source, from a computer, from controllers, or human beings playing with, with your mind. Unfortunately, since this source, this source of information does not, it bypasses the ears, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the touch, and the taste, and the smell. It comes from the same place that the inner dialogue comes from. Now since most human beings are not used to, they have not been practiced in the art of having an external entity, external being, an external intelligence uh, communicating with them directly through the internal dialogue. They're used to all communication coming from the ears, the eyes, the mouth, and the other senses. So when you have a sense of a, sor a, a source of communication that is external to you, not self-directed, but is coming to you from a source that you are only practiced in coming from yourself, you know? Um, how will you tell the difference from your own internal dialogue that you've been listening to and creating your whole life and from an external sourced additional internal dialogue that mimics your own? This is a quandary. It's been my experience over the past however many years they've been doing this to me um, that one can sometimes tell the difference between one's own internal self-directed thought and externally imposed thought that bypasses the normal channels of sensing and comes directly from the internal mind 
external source of thought being transmitted electromagnetically with the help of possibly nanotechnology into your brain. ELF, extremely low frequency. Um, now, as I said, most people are not practiced in the art of discerning between their own self-directed thought and an external source of thought that is masked to pretend to be their own self-directed thought. In other words, it's very easy to be fooled into thinking that that voice you hear inside your head is your own. Because that's the only voice you've been listening to your whole life. Now, if you think about this, generationally, if a child is born, and from the moment they're born until whenever, they have not only their own internal dialogue, but an external source dialogue that seems to come from the same place, they will never have a chance to discern the difference between their own self-directed thought and external thought, which is masked to look like their own. I'm lucky in a sense because I've been able to determine at times that there is in fact external thought being directed into me. Uh, they've given me clues, they've, you know, said things like, uh, you know, they've said all kinds of things. And, um, it became obvious to me. Now, for a lot of people, this paradigm, the fact that externally generated intelligent thought could be transmitted directly into one's mind rather than through the senses of hearing as speech, sight, smell, touch, taste. This is a novel idea for most people. Most people do not believe that the technology exists to do such a thing. We are in the 21st century. The technology exists. It's existed for years and it's been being used in secret for many years. They are currently using it on the population. They are testing it on target areas of the population and the people that they're connected to. So pretty much anybody who has a unique biosignature, which I think every human being does, could be tuned in and their thought listened to and externally generated thought can be put into their minds so that they think it's their own thought. I thought it was my own thought. That may be one of the reasons why they gave me all those MK Ultra drugs, the hallucinogens and the hypnotics and the God knows what else, uh, possibly to make me, you know, move so out there that I couldn't tell the difference between my own thought and the external thought. Um, or possibly it was just to, you know, blow my mind. I really don't know. But I did realize that this is externally generated. And one of the ways you can notice is you have to be very quiet and still and listen. And then you have to ask yourself, does this sound like something I would say? Did I ask this? Did I say this? Do I want this? You know, am I looking for this result, or this answer, or this idea? Or am I being externally probed? Uh, when you want to get information from somebody, you begin a sentence and you let them complete it, or you show them a picture, and you have them describe what makes them com comes to mind, and you will get much information about who they are and what their perspective on life is by doing this. This is uh, called brain mapping, intelligence mapping. Extracting thoughts by giving you cues or repeating thoughts. Or Anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about in my little 10-minute segment before my phone can no longer send it to YouTube. Thank you all for listening. I want to thank everybody who, who prays for me and for the other people who are suffering. There's many, many, many people suffering with this. It may be, in fact, the entire population has this Morgellons syndrome and doesn't know it. So, that's my uh, thought for the morning. Thank you all very much. And I, I pray for everyone who is suffering. God bless you all. Take care.